Welcome to the Daily App Show. Nope. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome to State Attack. Here's a... <clears throat> Welcome to State Attack. Here's an application for your Mac. It's called Disk Cartography. Open it up and it brings us to this main menu where we can map our hard drives. Now this is going to work with any disk that's connected to your Mac. Now that could be an SD card, a thumb drive, an external hard drive, a network drive, anything that's connected that is a remote drive you can actually access here in disk cartography. Now what is this going to do you might ask. Now what I can do is map my drive. Now if I tap map it, it's going to ask me to select a folder. Now if you're mapping your primary drive, I would suggest just using your user folder, but you can also come down here and actually select any folder here on your drive. So if I could, I could select my root drive and it's going to map the entire drive here, but typically you're going to want to stick with your user drive. It still maps the entire drive, it just makes the process a little quicker. So now click open and it's going to map our entire drive. So it's building our partition. You see all these folders are showing up and it's calculating the storage each folder takes. It's really cool. So I'm going to be able to see what is actually taking up most of the storage on my uh, Mac here. So I have documents. I can click this down. I see all the different folders that are taking up in here. Click that down. I see, wow, this folder right here is almost 19 gigabytes in size. Click that down. I can even go down to individual files and see what they're taking up. Now what's really neat is I have some filters and options up here at the top. If I was looking for something specific, I can tap on search and it's going to give me the search options here. I can tap on all files here and I can go ahead and include system and hidden folders. Now see it maps it again showing me now hidden in file systems here inside the Mac. I can go ahead and filter down to pictures. So it's just going to show me the folders that have pictures in them. Go ahead and come back down to video. Now it's just going to show me folders with video and show me those occupied disk spaces over here. We have audio as well. And notice how quickly this is happening. All of it's done really fast, really quick. So I can filter through all of those different options over here on the side menu right here. Now let's go ahead and go back to all files. Now there's even another cool option here. I can show files over. So right now it's set to over 16 megabytes. Let's say I want to see files over 4 gigs. So tab on 4 gigabytes and now it's only showing me files and folders that are over 4 gigabytes in size. I can display by space, percent, or file count. So see I can go ahead and change that show me over here on this screen right here. So there's space, there's percent, and then there's file size. And then I can choose my view default or by type. So it's going to show me different by types down here on the left hand side. So this is really cool. It's showing me everything that's here on my Mac. Go and filter it back down to 16 megabytes and I'm going to see a lot more on my computer here. Now if I ever find files, say this one right here, I'm going to go and come into this folder. Let's go ahead and select this preview file here. If I want to delete this, know if I notice if I click on it, I can choose delete permanently. And I can also check off files over here and delete it permanently by moving to the trash. I have help and support that I can click on. This is going to open up my web browser and bring me into their website where I can get help and support for this application here. Go ahead and close that out. And I can come back out to the home of disk cartography and go ahead and map another one of my drives. What's also really cool is out here in the main menu, it shows me this drive is 511 gigabytes. I have 130 gigabytes free. So this is a neat way to find out what's taking up the storage on your devices and quickly deleting it and removing it to reclaim some of that space. And for more tips, tricks, and news, go ahead and visit stateattack.net.